Our second example is going to be solved much the same way, even though this time our information is given to us in the angle side angle format. So you can see we have these two angles that are known, angle A and angle B. We have the side in between them, length 8. But essentially it's still the same as what we saw last time, where we, if we know two angles of a triangle, we automatically know what that third missing angle is. If we add together 110 degrees and 10 degrees, we'll get 120 degrees. And just as a coincidence, nothing to kind of get used to, this third angle here turns out to be 60 degrees. So we've got angle C, we know pretty instantly is 60 degrees. And so again, it's going to be that uh, angle side pairing where we know both measurements, where we both know the angle and the side across from it, that is going to be the foundation for the proportions that we're going to use to solve for these other two missing sides. So we've got sine of 60 degrees over the side across from it, which is 8, is equal to, and again we'll go alphabetical order this time once more, so sine of 110 degrees over length A. And so then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing where we cross multiply. We've got A times the sine of 60 equals 8 times the sine of 110. And so we just use our calculator to push buttons. 8 times the sine of 110. Divide that result by the sine of 60 degrees. And so then we get a length for A of 8.7. And then we can go ahead and solve for length B. We could go ahead and use that same sine of 60 over 8 to get us started. Equals, and then it's the sine of that 10 degree angle for angle B divided by length B. Do our cross multiplying. So we have B times the sine of 60 degrees is equal to 8 times the sine, whoops, times the sine of 10 degrees, and then again, 8 times the sine of 10 degrees, we push buttons on our calculator to get that result, divide that by the sine of 60 degrees, and we get B equals 1.6. And then again, we can do a quick double check to make sure that those answers make sense. That B uh, being 1.6 should definitely be the smallest side of our triangle since it's across from a 10 degree angle. Uh, length A, the one that's across from the 110 degree angle, should be the longest side. 8.7 fits with that. And again, I haven't drawn that triangle to scale. That angle for 10 degrees is probably a little bit too big. Um, should be a little bit smaller. The 60 degree angle turns out to look a little bit small. We can live with those types of uh, estimations as to what our triangle looks like. Those numbers all seem reasonable.